Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our service of night prayer of Compline on Monday the 1st of January 2024. My name is John Morrison and I join with my rector, the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate, the Reverend Jenny Walpole in wishing you all a very happy new year. In the calendar of the Church of England today, we are asked to celebrate the naming and circumcision of Jesus. The celebration of this scriptural festival marks three events. Firstly, the naming of the infant Christ as Jesus. Secondly, the circumcision as the sign of the covenant between God and Abraham and his children forever, thus Christ's keeping of the law. And thirdly, traditionally the first shedding of the Christ's blood. The most significant of these in the Gospels is the name itself, which means Yahweh saves, and so is linked to the question asked by Moses of God, what is your name? I am who I am, was the reply. Hence the significance of Jesus' words, Before Abraham was, I am. This feast has been observed in the church since at least the 6th century. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. The refrain for Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5 and then 19 to the end is, Into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock a fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Into your hands I commend my spirit. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. I have said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard my, the voice of my prayer. 
when I cried out to you. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us and hope is veiled in grief, hold us in your wounded hands and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our short scripture reading this evening is from John 1, verses 4 and 5. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Our response read, Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Our Gospel canticle is the Nunc Dimittis, the Song of Simeon. Alleluia, the Word was made flesh, alleluia, and dwelt amongst us. Alleluia, alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Word was made flesh. Alleluia. And dwelt among us. Alleluia. Alleluia. Gracious God, we come to you this evening, knowing that as we turn into a new year, we are surrounded by violence, greed, oppression, and we are eternally sad for the damage that we have done to your creation. We pray for all those in difficulties this night and we pray for those who are physically unwell and whose mind is beset with worries and concerns. We pray for those who are afraid of the dark and afraid of the winter, that they may perceive your eternal light and love. And we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was circumcised in obedience to the law for our sake, and given the name that is above every name, give us grace faithfully to bear his name, to worship him in the freedom of the Spirit, and to proclaim him as the Saviour of the world, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the love of the Word made flesh enfold us. His joy fill our lives. His peace be in our hearts. And the blessing of God be with us this night and always. Thank you for joining us for our service of night prayer. We will be with you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock for Benefice Morning Prayer. Have a safe and quiet night. Goodbye.